I'm Anil Kumar and we'll discuss rational inequalities with the help of a very interesting question. The question here is, when is the function f of x equals to 4 over x minus 1 minus 3 plus minus 3x squared divided by 5 minus 4x minus x squared below the horizontal axis? Now what does that mean? It basically means horizontal axis is the x-axis, right, where y is equal to 0. So we are trying to figure out when is f of x less than 0 to get the point. So that is the inequality which we are trying to solve. So let us begin by copying this question. So it is 4 over x minus 1 minus 3 plus minus 3x squared divided by 5 minus 4x squared minus x squared. Let me rearrange all this and I will take minus common and write them in order of decreasing exponents for x. x squared plus 4x minus 5. And that should be less than 0. This is the inequality we are going to solve. If it is less than 0, then the value will be below the horizontal axis. Right? Now, before we actually uh, go further, we need to factor the denominator. So we'll get 4 over x minus 1 minus 3. Minus and minus becomes plus. So we have plus 3x squared. Now, in this factor, we need product of minus 5 and sum of 4. So we get x plus 5 times x minus 1, less than 0. Now, the common denominator for us will be x plus 5 times x minus 1. So 4 should be multiplied by x plus 5 minus 3 should be multiplied by the product of these which is x squared plus 4x minus 5. So let me write x squared plus 4x minus 5 plus 3x squared as such should be less than 0. Now we can expand and simplify. So we have 4x plus 20 minus 3x squared minus 12x plus 15 plus 3x squared. From here divided by x plus 5 times x minus 1 and that should be less than 0. Now Let's take it to the right side to further simplify and get our answer. So combining these terms, minus 3x squared and plus 3x squared is 0 for us. And about the x values, we have minus 12x and 4x. That gives us minus 8x. So we have minus 8x. As far as the numbers are concerned, we have 20 plus 15, which is 35. So we have plus 35 over x plus 5 times x minus 1 less than 0. So that is what we get at this stage. Now to solve this inequality, we need to find the zeros of the numerator and the zeros for the denominator. And then we will analyze the terms. So what we have here is the vertical asymptotes of the zeros of the denominator are at x equals to minus 5 and x equals to 1. As far as the denominator, as the numerator is concerned, the 0 is at 85, 35 over 8, right? So what we have here is zeros will be at, for the numerator, at 35 over 8. And zeros for denominator will be, we can say vertical asymptote if you want to, will be at x equals to minus 5 and at plus 1. So we'll make a table of values for the given points. These zeros and vertical asymptotes divide our plane. We have three of them. They divide our plane into four different parts. Now, 35 over 8 is kind of 4 point something, right? So this is 
minus 5. So let's say this is minus 5. Then we have 1 and then we have 35 over 8. Now the intervals which it divides into are from minus infinity to minus 5. This one is from minus 5 to 1, then from 1 to 35 over 8, and then from 35 over 8 to infinity. So these are the four intervals. In each interval, we'll take test points. So these are the intervals for us. In each interval, we'll take test points. Right? Test points could be minus 6 here, 0, 2, and greater than 4, let us take 5. Now for each test point, we have to find whether the factors are positive or negative. We don't really have to find their value. Right? So that should help us to get the answer. The factors are minus 8x plus 35. Now here, if I substitute a negative value for x, this becomes positive. Right? So, if I substitute minus 6 here, it, it becomes positive. If I substitute 0 here, it is positive. If I substitute 2 here, then it is minus 16 and it is still positive. If I substitute 5 here, then that becomes negative because 8 minus 8 times 5 is 40. So, we get a negative number. For the factor, which is x plus 5, if I substitute minus 6, I get negative. For 0, I get positive. For 2 and 5, I get a positive value. For the factor, which is x minus 1, minus 6 gives me negative, 0 gives me negative, 2 gives me positive, and 5 gives me positive. Now, the function here given to us is kind of product of these three. So that is to say, that when you do two negatives, then you get positive. One negative is negative. All positive is positive. One negative is negative. We are looking for answer which is less than zero. That means negative interval. So that gives us two intervals as our solution. And so we can write down our answer as it is between minus 5 and 1 union 35 over 8 to positive infinity. So that is how we can solve such a rational inequality. So the idea here is to factor each individual, combine the terms and then with the help of this table where you write sign of each factor, you can figure out when is the function negative or positive since we are looking for less than zero, so whenever the product of these three is negative, that will be our solution. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.